And our family and friends, here we are with the executive creative team with a behind the scenes look at Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Carmen Smith, Sharita Carter, and Ted Robledo. What an honor it is to be here with you. I know that you put your heart and your soul into this project, yes, and you did, you did good. I want to send you a deep congratulations for everything that you've done. Everything you've done. Now, this attraction, it's, it's opening officially right around the corner, June 28th. I cannot wait. Now, let's, let's get started. Uh, Sharita, why Princess Tiana for this new attraction? Well, Tiana was our inspiration because Tiana is everybody's princess. She comes from a real place in America. She wasn't born into royalty. She has a working mom. She has military ties. And there's so much about her life that is relatable. Everyone can find an aspect of Tiana's story in their own story. And so many people are inspired by her. And you know, Tiana is a dreamer and a doer. <laughs> so speaking of dreamers and doers, last month we saw a story of a high school student who leaned in and was inspired by Tiana and made her own prom dress. No way. Oh, I see it there. I see it there. Isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. So, of course, when we heard about uh, Layla's story, we had to invite her to be a part of this special day today. And I understand that Layla is here. She's here with us today. Woo! Layla, where are you? Stand up, Layla. There she is, Layla. Hey! <laughs> Layla, that dress is gorgeous. Man, we got a future designer over here. All right, on her. Thanks for being with us, Layla. Now, uh, I, I just love this idea that Tiana is a modern princess inspired by real places, real stories. Now, Carmen, what, what has it been like working with the Chase family whose family ties served as a real life inspiration for Princess Tiana? Boy, it is an honor and a blessing. Tiana would not be possible if we're not for Leah Chase. She was, yes. A dreamer and a doer, a working mom of four who followed her dream to run a restaurant. She and her husband, Dookie, ran Dookie Chases in New Orleans, but it wasn't just a restaurant. You know, it was a gathering place that inspired so many. Multiple U.S. presidents dined there, so did Martin Luther King, Thurgood Marshall, Ray Charles, and even Dookie's. I mean, they sang there, the band, it was just amazing. When Disney Animation visited New Orleans and sat down with mm -hmm. Chef Chase, they knew this American original was the perfect inspiration for Disney's first African-American princess. <laughs> While Leah and Dookie are gone, their legacy lives on through the future generations who are a huge part of this project. Their children were our guides, her life, and her community. We even made her daughter, Stella, Stella Chase, an honorary Imagineer. Her son, Edgar, who sadly passed away, this spring charmed us with his stories about his party, his wit, and his community service. And you know, if you listen carefully to the radio broadcast and your cue, you'll hear Leah Chase, Kamata, singing, do you know what it means to Miss New Orleans? The whole family is in this. And again, we are so blessed to have them with us. It's just so beautiful to hear all the history and all of the stories that go into this. You know, it's great to see a beloved character come to life in such a new way. Um, bringing it down to you, Ted, talking about the story. So what can guests expect with all the new story from the queue to the finale? Well, there's so much, Matt. So Tiana's Bayou Adventure takes place about a year after the events from the film The Princess and the Frog. 
And so a lot has changed since then, and one of the most exciting parts of the attraction is seeing where Princess Tiana's life has taken her after that movie. So following the successful opening of her restaurant, Tiana's Palace there next to the beautiful Mississippi River in New Orleans, she's continued to grow her business, but this time she's included members of the community and built a new beloved brand called Tiana's Foods. So it's beautiful, I see it there. Yeah, it's, that's, that's amazing. So when you enter the garden area and, and, and start uh, the start of the queue, you're gonna hear a radio broadcast of a performance by New Orleans musical acts. And the announcer of this radio program uh, shares that Tiana is hosting a celebration during Mardi Gras season this very night. And everyone is invited. Oh, Ted, I'm glad you mentioned that because I think we actually have the audio of the, the radio broadcast right now. Can we play that? Speaking of which, you can take yourself to Tiana's Foods to meet Princess Tiana. All the big fans are booked and she needs your help finding musicians for tonight's big party. Tell her I sent you. <laughs> That's great. That's great. So what happens next? Well, as you just heard, uh, he also mentions that Princess Tiana needs our help for a very important task. So. Now, there's a lot to get done before a big party during Mardi Gras season. If you all haven't been to Mardi Gras, I have for the first time. It's like nothing else. And so, you know, it ain't a party in New Orleans without music or a band. So, in, in fact, as you walk into Tiana's office, you're going to see a to-do list on, on the wall. And everything is checked off except for hiring a band. Mm -hmm. And that's what, you know, we're here to help her with. So we're gonna join Tiana and, and, and Lewis for a fun and magical trip through the bayou in search of musicians. So after walking through this office and seeing all this great stuff that's happening over there, we're gonna head on upstairs to the kitchen and we're gonna smell fresh beignets. It's amazing, it's gonna make you hungry before you even get off. <laughs> and throughout the kitchen, you're gonna see all these wonderful uh, framed photos and mementos because Tiana like all of us when we bring people into our house she's proud of, of, of people who have inspired her her family and her friends so that's who she's celebrating uh, here you're even going to see uh, her famous family's gumbo recipe there and so honestly there's so many stories uh, and moments captured throughout this this space you're, you're really all going to have to do uh, repeat visits to really take it all in so once once we get on the attraction how does the story can continue from there Great. Right. So after we board our boats and then we pass through this beautiful, lush lagoon filled with trees, plants, and flowers of the bayou, of course, uh, we're going to join Tiana and the jazz-loving alligator trumpet player, Lewis, on an adventure down the river, and we're going to be searching for that essential missing ingredient, which you know is musicians. So along the way, we're going to meet bands of critters sharing this diverse, the, sharing all of the diverse and, and rich sounds of New Orleans playing their own renditions of these Tiana songs. And with the help of Mama Odie, who loves Mama Odie? Mama Odie. Come on! With the, help, with the help of Mama Odie's special magic, we're gonna dig a little deeper in the bayou <laughs> and find all the musicians we're looking for as she shrinks us down to the size of a frog for a perspective of the bayou that you could not ever get unless it was with Mama Odie. And so, as, as the journey and the talent search concludes, it's Mama Odie again, who brings us back to our big, bold, beautiful selves and gets us to that joyful Mardi Gras celebration at the magnificent home of Princess Tiana and, and Prince Naveen. So here we're gonna be celebrating alongside the all familiar friends, you know, we know from the Princess and the Frog, as well as all the new creator friends that we met along the way there at the Bayou, and all these other guests who've come there to celebrate together. That is so incredible, that, that's beautiful. So you just painted this beautiful picture. We're hanging on your every word of this story. I can't wait to get on the, the attraction myself and experience it and see it all come to life. Now, uh, this story is incredible. Carmen, is there, there a way that Imagineers are extending Tiana's story uh, beyond the attraction? Absolutely. You know, I'm so proud of the many ways we're telling Tiana's story, including all the new merchandise. We've worked together on with our consumer products partners so you're going to get a chance to see an, amu an, uh, an amazing array of, of products you know it is absolutely amazing and we've worked with them from the very beginning giving people a new and different way to experience and take Tiana's story with them as they've ridden the ride including huggable plushes 
of the critters. Oh, look at they're so adorable. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> you can hear they love it. I love it. <laughs> they are adorable. And you know, our partners at Walt Disney Animation Studios have also been amazing throughout this attraction's development. They are our dear partners and friends. And we're so excited that Tiana's story will continue after the attraction. And that's with a new show coming Ooh. to Disney Plus. Wow. <laughs> that, you just said some overwhelming things. I'm so excited for the show. I'm gonna be the first one in line for all of these new products. I mean, I heard this whole audience is ready for that. <laughs> well, it's apparent that you all poured so much time and love into creating this experience. So, uh, you visited New Orleans during multiple research trips, that's right. And Sharita, can you tell us a bit more about this process and where in New Orleans did you get your inspiration? All right, well, first of all, we want to pay tribute to the fabulous city of New Orleans. Anybody from New Orleans here? Yeah. 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 Well, that's Tiana City. And um, we want to point out, though, that um, our ties as the Disney company with New Orleans go back beyond this attraction. It goes back to Walt Disney with the um, opening of uh, New Orleans Square, which was one of the first major uh, expansions of our park. So that was really exciting. So we go way back when it comes to telling stories about New Orleans. But we had an opportunity and we actually sought out local artists and artisans that we wanted to collaborate with and be inspired by so that they could be a part of delivering this wonderful, authentic guest experience. And we have a number of them with us here, I believe. We've got Sharita, uh, Sharika Mate, Malika Favorite, Varian Laurent, Daryl Reeves, and Karina Roca. is truly a love letter to New Orleans and we think those that are from the city are going to really recognize that and we hope that those who have not experienced it yet will look forward to experiencing it firsthand as well. That is incredible. I love it. I'm, I'm so excited. I can't, I can't contain myself. <laughs> uh, so for, for all of you, what are some of your favorite details or Easter eggs in this new attraction that you want guests to know about? Um, Carmen, let's start with you. Well, you know, being an Imagineer, detail is everything. Mm -hmm. And again, Tiana's new look for the attraction is truly special. Now, we took a meticulous approach to ensure it's both historical and accurate and authentic to the character. You know, Disney costume designer, Ida Boldro, uh, she is an amazing and talented costume designer. You know, she was an instrumental collaborator. Tiana's party dress is fit for a princess. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> that is just beautiful. Now, uh, Sharita, what about you? Well, I have a lot of favorites, Matt, but I'd like to highlight the fact that we have the opportunity in the queue line to do a salute to the military. Um, from the film, we learned that Tiana's dad was a World War I veteran in the Army, and we have photos of him in the queue, and you can see him in his uniform and with Tiana. And that's especially um, meaningful to me because I'm an Air Force brat, came from a military family. I know so many of you come from military families and so many of our guests. So this is a wonderful way for us to connect with those families. And um, my dad and sister are here, and they both start, have served in the U.S. Air Force. Oh, That, that means so much. That's that's wonderful. <laughs> was that them? No, it's Hey, Dad. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Uh, that, I love that. Uh, thank you so much for honoring them in that way. That's that's wonderful. And, and Ted, how about yourself? Oh man, it's 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 practically impossible to choose just <laughs> just one. Of course. But, but you know, one of the things I'm so proud of this team uh, that, that this team on Tiana's Bike Adventure has done is we've created uh, new and, and original characters. In fact, there's 19 new critters in Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Some are big, some are small, some are old, others are young. And honestly, I hope that every guest here has at least one of these new characters that they can make that special connection with. So, you know, one of my favorites is, uh, we're calling Gritty the Rabbit, and, and you know, she plays this washboard, right? But it's actually a found, found. 
automobile <laughs> license plate. Um, you may even find evidence of this license plate being missing in the queue or the truck that's parked outside. So. <laughs> well, we gotta watch out for Gritty the Rabbit there. I can't wait to see all of them. <laughs> now, uh, music seems to be a big part in the attraction. Um, Ted, can you, can you talk about that process? Oh my gosh, honestly, I'm a little biased here because my, my love of music run, runs deep as a, as a musician myself, and honestly, we could not be more honored to be working with the, the talent, talented musicians of, of New Orleans itself. So, P.J. Morton, if you know P.J. Morton, has, has written and produced an original theme song called Special Spice that's performed by Anika Noni Rose and it is an, it is an, it is an instant Disney classic. Uh, everyone's gonna be singing this on, on, on the way home, I promise you that. And, and even th if that's not enough, we're working with legendary Terrence Blanchard, uh, you know, whom you know, if you may not know this, uh, he was the actual person who played the trumpet parts for Lewis in the original film, The Princess and the Frog. But, Terrence has lent his talent as a son of New Orleans and, and brought a, a new and an authentic uh, you know, feel for that, that beautiful music from the film as well as New Orleans classics. And that's what you're gonna be hearing in the queue. Uh, I think there's other artists out there too from New Orleans yes, as well. Tonight, like, uh, tonight, uh, tonight we're gonna be hearing uh, Tank and the Bangas, I think. Woo! All right, we're gonna hear them tonight too. Yeah. Tank and the Bangas. It's going to be incredible. I can't wait for that. Well, that is so exciting. Uh, and, you know, I'm most excited to hear this original song that you keep talking about, Special Spice, written by P.J. Morton and sung by Anika Noni Rose. Wouldn't it be great to hear it live? Woo! 